Hello everyone. Once again, Happy New Year. It's not actually New Year's yet, but you're going to be seeing this video on uh, January the 2nd, Monday. It's actually Saturday here still. Well, not still, but it's, it's Saturday, so it's actually New Year's Eve when I'm recording this. But what a great day we've had so far today. You would think, oh, let me introduce myself first. I'm semi-retired Bob. I talk about the carnivore diet, all things related to the carnivore diet, and some miscellaneous odds and ends. Um, what you're watching here is me walking. That doesn't seem like a whole lot, but considering less than eight months ago, I could barely stand up for two and a half minutes without severe pain. This is quite the accomplishment. So that's what that's what you're actually watching here. I do occasionally try to come up with an interesting topic to talk about. But for the most part, I'm just out here walking to show you that it can be done. It's never too late to change your life. I started this the day before my 59th birthday. And, you know, it hasn't even been quite eight months yet. And I'm out here walking every day. But to get back to what a, a great day it was, you would think that it would be impossible to pull off a surprise birthday party in a community as close knit as a church. But today was Pastor Jorge's birthday. He's the Spanish minister. And of course, the Spanish. I think I might be too far away to show you. I get around. Well, you've seen him before. The Spanish hold their services in the middle in the middle building, which is the original Spring Creek Baptist Church, and the English service is over in the new big building. And I've talked about Pastor Jorge many times before. You know, he's a, besides being the Spanish minister and doing a great job of building Spanish ministry, we have, I think it's 53 or 54 members now, but he's averaging quite a bit more than that. I just, as I understand it, it's harder to get Spanish speakers from that area of the world to actually join a church. Whereas, you know, most English speakers, they go to a church one time, if they like it, boom, they're in. Don't know what the difference is, don't know why it is. It just is, but he's doing a really good job. It'll be a year that he's been here. I think he showed up on January the 2nd or 3rd last year. His wife got here in November and got a house and started laying the groundwork and all that stuff. But he got here right after the first of the year. But anyway, today was his birthday. And we've got a good service plan for tomorrow. Got three new families joining. We have three people being baptized. Going to be a great day in church, but uh, well, they managed to just spread the word through the English speakers, and then in private one-on-one -on -one conversations outside the building, they let his uh, Spanish members know that we were going to have a surprise birthday party luncheon for him today. And uh, you would think it would, somehow, you know, this has been in the works for a month. You would think that somebody would let the cat out of the bag and he would know about it. But 
about a quarter to 12. The party was scheduled to start at 12.30. And about a quarter to 12, Pastor called him up and said, Hey, we got three, uh, three baptisms tomorrow, and there's something wrong with the baptistry. Looks like it's leaking water or something. Can you come down and take a look at it? Which, the baptistry is still in the middle building because they figured they had one that was already built and working fine and no need to put one in the, in the new building. It saves some space. And it doesn't make sense to, to pay the maintenance on two of those. Because, you know, you have to keep them full of water, keep them clean, keep them heated, drain them and refill them, and do all that kind of stuff. So, he came down with his tools, was ready to go to work, walked in the door, and there were, I want to say there was about 70 of us there, might have even been a little bit more than that. And he was really surprised, which, like I said, that's really hard to pull, pull off in this day and age of social media and everybody talking to everybody and text messaging and all the things that are out there for information exchange. I'm very, very pleased that they managed to pull that off. Because he is such a nice guy. Okay. And now I'm out here walking. It's about 25 minutes until the TCU, that Team Up North game, starts. And I'm going to want to watch that. But I decided I wanted to get some walking in because I still just had beef, but they had tacos set up over there. And I had taco seasoning, oh, way back when at the start of this journey. That was back in late May, early June. I made myself a taco bowl with the last taco seasoning I had at the house in Omaha. And I just got myself a plate full of the taco filling beef. And because they also had chicken for chicken tacos, I got a little small, like three or four chunks of the chicken that also had taco seasoning on it. It was very tasty. But I can feel it starting to work on my gut just a little bit. So I wanted to come out and walk to see if I can't get get some things moving. Maybe burn a little bit of that if there was a little bit of sugar in the spices. I don't know what was in the spices. Miss Jessica made them. She said she makes her own taco seasoning. So we'll see how, how it goes. But I decided to eat it because it was Brother Jorge's birthday. And because what I had thought out for today was a roast that's going to take a couple hours in the oven to get it mostly done. And with them in there cooking for his birthday party, it was going to be a little bit too late to get the roast in and get it done to eat between... Well, I could have gotten it done to eat between games tonight, but that would have had me eating about 7.30 and I decided to just go ahead and have the taco meat because well it's just that's the decision I made and if I end up with a little upset stomach it's no big deal 
I know where this food came from. I know what went into it. So I know it's not gonna tear me up like that barbecue did a couple of weeks ago. But it's supposed to start raining at any moment. You can see the wind is picking up. Maybe I can't tell if it's hitting the, the microphone or the camera or not. I never know about that stuff. I'll turn one way where I think it's gonna be noisy and it's dead quiet. And then I turn the next way, the next direction, and it's not. You know, it's super noisy. So, sorry if there's some wind noise here. But I decided I'd get out here and at least get a start on Monday's video before the, the last two football games get started. Because, you know, Ohio State plays tonight. I got a lot of nervous energy to work off as well. So when you're seeing this, it is the 2nd of January. I hope everybody had a good start to their January kickoff for World Carnivore Month yesterday. If not, let's get started. Today's the day. It's January the 2nd, it's Monday. No more excuses. Just get out there and do it. And if you've already been keto or carnivore, or keto for low carb, and your body has already done some healing, and you feel like it may be time to get some movement in, let's go ahead and get that started. Doesn't have to be a lot. I mean, go back and watch the start of my walking journey. I'll put that in the end card. It'll say September Challenge. And you see the first video. I just walked down to the corner and back. I don't even think it was three minutes long. It might have been. I don't remember. But uh, now they're getting so long that I can't show you my whole walk. Because... You don't want to watch me walk for two hours. You don't want to listen to me ramble on about stuff for two hours. I'm having a hard enough time coming up with stuff to say for 10 or 12 minutes of the video. Sometimes 15. Depends on how windy I get. Some days, you know, I can talk. I do love the sound of my own voice, obviously. But I had to laugh. I'm not sure what happened. One of my videos a couple, three days ago, <clears throat> the music didn't come through on it. I don't know why. I looked at everything, went back and pulled the master off my storage drive, and the music is there. So I don't know why it didn't get picked up, but these things happen. But the thing that made me laugh is one of my regulars said, there was no music on this video. I had to sing to myself while I was walking and I'm a terrible singer. It made me laugh. But I feel her pain. But considering it's supposed to rain at any moment, it's not too bad out here right now. It's 70 degrees again. It's... The ground has dried out enough that I'm actually walking through the field and around the back of the church and doing all that stuff. Making big laps today. But, uh... It is supposed to rain... So I don't know if I'll get the whole walk in right now or not. I might have to break it up and do a little more walking tomorrow after church. But it'd be nice. Because right now, while the, the ball games are in pregame, tomorrow's video, which is Sunday's video, is being uploaded. And it'd be nice to have this one edited and ready to go to upload that tonight since I'm going to be up late watching the Ohio State game. 
then I'd have Sundays and Mondays in the can. Then I could take tomorrow off from walking, because I haven't actually taken a day off yet this week from walking. I could take tomorrow off from walking and plan what I'm going to do on Monday. Pretty sure I'm going to go out to the park. I got a week and a half till payday, but I got a full tank of gas in the truck. So I don't have to worry about that. Got my groceries in yesterday. So I got enough food in the freezer to get me to the end of the end of this pay cycle. And enough gas in the tank to get me to the end of this pay cycle. And I still have some money in my checking account. Primarily thanks to you guys who donate to the channel. I have four of you. That have joined my membership. Oh, and while I'm thinking of it, I know it's been kind of lax, but watch for the announcement in the community tab, those of you that are already channel members, on, I'll put the invite in there because I don't have everybody's email address yet, but I'm going to probably Wednesday, no, Wednesday's church. And I've got an interview on Thursday. More about that later. I'll let you know when... I believe his channel name is Everyday Carnivore. I don't know when the actual interview is going to come out, but we're recording that Thursday evening. So... Let's shoot for next Tuesday. It's here, Monday's the 1st, so the next Monday will be the 8th. So let's shoot for Tuesday the 9th, about 6 o'clock Central Time. Not Central Time, Eve, 6 o'clock Eastern Time. You can do the math on wherever you're at. I'll go ahead and put an invite to a Zoom call on the Community tab in the Members section. So you'll have to be a member to see it. And we'll do a Zoom call that Tuesday night to make sure you guys start getting some value for your membership money. I know not every, every one of you has said, I'm not really worried about it. I didn't really sign up for the perks. I just want to donate a little something to your channel. And I do appreciate that an awful lot. But I feel kind of kind of greasy not giving you something for your money so we'll do a zoom call next tuesday not two days from now or tomorrow you'll be seeing this on monday so not tomorrow but the following tuesday evening at six o'clock eastern i think i've already asked you this in a previous video but show of hands down in the comments Who's sad the holidays are over, and who's glad the holidays are over? I'm a little bit of both. Because, you know, this is my first year on Carnivore, and I haven't mastered the whole going to party thing yet. I still get tempted by stuff. So I'm kind of glad that it's over at that point. But I'm also kind of sad that it's over because outside of the food that's always available with those things, I really enjoy the socializing with people. As you can tell, I... Who would have ever thought that I actually like to talk to people? So let's see here. What have we covered so far in January? Yesterday we talked about our why. If there's anything you don't understand about that, 
feel free to leave me a comment. I'm happy to answer you back. Got an email on the About tab. Or if you don't want to look that up, my email is is uh, the public email is semi-retiredbob at yahoo. But uh, yeah, it was nice to see Ready Set Keto back in the regular time slot last night. Well, it's been a few nights ago now. By the time you're seeing this. But, uh, don't get confused over the next couple of days, probably starting yesterday on the 1st, there were a lot and are going to be a lot of New Year's resolutions, diet, exercise, all that kind of video out there. And yes, I'm guilty of it. I've been titling my videos and attempting to capture my fair share of the people out looking for answers. So the title has been a little clickbaity, but I haven't changed who I am. I haven't changed my message. I, uh, I want people to understand why the carnivore diet works or any version of the no carb diet I mean if you're not going to have any carbs at all it almost has to be carnivore <clears throat> and I won't say it will work for everybody but I will say 99% of the people that try it, as long as they're honest with themselves and actually do carnivore and don't cheat, you know, because having a little splash of heavy whipping cream in your coffee in the morning is perfectly fine. But if you have a little splash of coffee in your heavy whipping cream in the morning that's not okay that's going to knock you off plan real quick but if you stick to it get as close to zero carbs in a day as you can then you will see much improvement in your health. I mean, again, I just, I like to use me as an example because that's my own personal N equals one experiment. And that's really what you have to do. You have to experiment with yourself after you get the baseline of roughly one to one fat to protein, somewhere between that and one and a half to one fat to protein. From there, give it a little time and by a little time I mean 30 to 45 days and if you're not seeing any results go ahead and up the fat try to get closer to the 2 to 1 see what happens and then after another 30 to 45 days if you're still not seeing any results and I don't necessarily mean weight loss or fat loss I mean if your arthritis doesn't get any better like mine, 90% better, 95% better. My type 2 diabetes is completely gone. My spinal stenosis is 92 to 93% better. I've had no gout attacks. My fatty liver is gone. My stage 1 chronic kidney disease is gone. My blood pressure is back to normal. I've gone from taking 13 drugs in the morning and 9 at night, plus pain pills, to taking one a day. And now I think it's been a whole week since I've had a pain pill. 
I'm not trying to ration them. I just don't need them. So, you know, experiment with yourself after you get to, you know, two to one and give it 30, 45 days. If that's not working out for you, then you can go ahead and try and drop the fat a little bit down to closer to a one-to-one -one and see if that works for you. Somewhere in that range between one-to-one -one and two-to-one, you're going to find your sweet spot and you're going to start noticing improvements. Like I said, it might be your arthritis, it might be your spinal stenosis, your gout, your kidney disease, your liver disease, your skin conditions, eczema, psoriasis, psoriasis, your GERD, your irritable bowel syndrome, or even just flat out your, your weight. It's hard to say what's going to heal first because while you may want to drop your fat first and worry about all the other stuff later we don't get to decide that our bodies will decide once it starts to get proper nutrition what it needs to heal first so just keep that in mind Stick with it, because now that we know what we know, and we continue on this education of how bad carbohydrates are for us, I mean, what's the answer if we can't find something that works on this? Go back to eating pizza and donuts and just give up on life? No, that's not the answer. You keep experimenting until you find something that works. And when you find something that works, you leave that in the comments of this video so that somebody else that's in the situation you're in might look at what you tried and go, huh, you know, I'm going to give that a try, just see what happens. Unless you're following the I eat lots of fruit, doctor. Because that's just carbs. Don't... Don't start adding carbs. Adding carbs is never the answer. But, uh... Yeah. Wow, I've really been rambling on for a while. So I'm going to go ahead and walk one more lap. And get ready for the ball games. But for now, let's cue the music.
Okay, cut the music. Thank you. Well, I'm not standing still. I apologize if there's a water drop on the camera lens. There's uh, It's actually raining now. The things I do for you guys. Eh, well, I'm doing it for me too. But it started raining about halfway around that lamp, that lap. But I decided well, a little water is not going to melt me. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this off. Sorry, the whole... I don't remember what I said in today's video. But it was a whole lot of just talking. Which are some of my favorite videos. But they don't do as well. But anyway... It's raining. I'm going to get inside out of the rain. Have a great day, everyone. Don't forget to get out there and be 1% better. I will see you tomorrow. Hello, everyone. I'm back for just one more little segment of the video here. It was raining when I finished up filming yesterday and then watched football. It was a little disappointing, but outside of not winning the game, I don't think I could have asked for a better game. But I just had to come out and walk one quick little lap to show you how beautiful a day it is on New Year's Day here in North Carolina. It's about 68 degrees. And the sun is shining down really, really hard. After that rainy day yesterday, this is really nice. But uh, the main reason I was compelled to turn my camera back on, I actually had the video all set to upload this morning. And, uh, at, well, I had it ready and then I was going to start uploading it after church while I got my food for the day ready. But while I was sitting there getting ready to upload, Dr. Sean Baker had a little video that came out. And it struck a chord with me because I've, I've said it a few times, maybe not quite as clearly as he did. So I wanted to add this into my video because I know not all of you watch Dr. Baker. So just in case you didn't see his video, what he said, and I absolutely believe this, the very best supplement that you can have on the carnivore diet is a strong, and yeah, here comes another lot of truck. a strong support group around you and that's what you guys are for me you're my support group making these videos on a regular basis for you guys keeps me accountable all the great comments offer support and encouragement and we all need somebody to encourage us from time to time And that's what my Facebook group is all about. So if you haven't, uh, if you don't have a great support group around you, you might want to consider checking out my Facebook group, Carnivore Quest has a great Facebook group. There's lots of support in there. And for just five bucks, you can get. I mentioned this before, you can get into Dr. Barry's Mighty Networks for just five bucks a month. And there's lots of support available there too. But my Facebook is absolutely free. And I have no control over what goes on in other groups. You know, there's a really big animal. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a beaver or what, but there's something that lives in these woods right back here. Because every time I walk around the parking lot, I can hear it crashing around in the woods back here. 
But anyway, I have no control over what happens in the other groups. But I can tell you in my group, there is no judgment. And there's not going to be any of this, oh, well, that's not carnivore, you can't eat that. No, absolutely not. I don't believe in that. And I don't let it happen in my group. Anyone that makes those kind of comments, those comments get deleted, and if it happens more than once, which it hasn't ever actually happened, but I won't allow those people to stay in the group for very long. I'm looking for people that encourage each other, offer support. Now, you can offer advice without being judgmental, and you can offer advice without, you know, being accusational or saying, no, you can't do that. You know, you might say, well, neither of these are carnivore, but, well, let's just take the heavy cream, for example. So if you're, you know, if you're hitting a stall and you're drinking heavy cream in your coffee every morning, why don't you just give butter a shot? See if that helps. Because perhaps switching out that heavy cream for butter will help you. Things like that are perfectly acceptable. But you just say, well, no, you can't do that. That's not carnivore. That's not the way we roll in the semi-retired Bob group. I like to keep it simple and easy and friendly. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Make sure you have a, a good support group around you. And if you don't have one yet, keep looking around. We're out here. And there are a lot of us ready to support you if you need it. That's all I wanted to add to the video. I'm going to jump inside and edit this in. And I hope you all had a happy new year. Have a great day, everyone. Don't forget to get out there. Be 1% better. I'll see you tomorrow.